coordinating your travel and credit card strategy with a loved one or spouse, best friend, uh, can take a lot of effort, but if you do it right, it can pay off. TPG reader Nate Rosenberg tweeted me that uh, him and his wife both travel for work. Should they choose loyalty with the same airline or should they diversify and choose two separate? Now, the situation generally would require knowing, you know, where they're, each of them are flying. If each of them have different client, uh, you know, in different cities, I would recommend in general, choose the airline that's going to be most efficient for you. So miles and points are great, but if you're traveling a ton, you know, you got to put a value on spending time at home. So I would say pick the airline that will allow you to minimize your time on the road, minimize your time on the road uh, so that you can spend time with your loved one. Or maybe if you don't want to spend time with your loved one, maybe you do want to rack up extra miles instead. We're digressing from the point here. But basically, I would say if all things being equal, I would recommend uh, with airline loyalty getting in the same program so that, uh, you know, whenever you do want to fly and take it or go on mileage runs together, uh, you can do so. You don't always have to fly different airlines. Um, now, that's, that being said, I would recommend diversifying your credit card strategy um, and kind of teaming up in certain ways or maybe someone really focuses on hotel points, someone really focuses on airlines or transferable points, fixed points, uh, so that whenever you want to take a trip, you know, you can basically cover the entire cost where oh, I got the fixed value points with my Barclay card arrival plus I'll get our bed and breakfast and train you get the airline tickets and you know maybe on the road I'll stay at Starwood hotels and you stay at uh, Marriott so that we have a lot of different options whenever we travel so I would recommend uh, the same airline but uh, diversifying maybe hotel and credit cards. Because honestly, if you ever wanna to fly together and earn elite qualifying miles, you don't wanna be flying different airlines. And generally the companion upgrade perks are pretty watered down where uh, companions will actually drag you down in the upgrade, um, you know, in, in the race for the upgrade. So hopefully that answers your question. I don't know if anyone else disagrees with me or feels like they should have a different strategy, but feel free to comment if so, or tweet me at The Points Guy. Make sure you like us on facebook.com backslash The Points Guy.